Do you have a good way to respond to these pussy morons who dismiss everything you say because Israel bought you with a trip? Uh, it's so frustrating. There, I mean, there's nothing I can say. I, I'll do the same challenge that I said over and over again. If Candace owns or anybody else wants to like have a third party verifier income sources, I'll gladly do that. Also, I just don't think people realize, and I understand this, and this is why I try to be, when, I, when I'm talking about, when people are like, oh, this guy takes bribes, I was like, well, hold on, okay? I've been at several stages of like earning money in my life, and so I have like a decent idea, I think, of like what somebody would take as a bribe or what it would cost to pay somebody off or what's reasonable or not. Um, <laughs> now, careful, okay? I need your subs and I need your money. Give me all your money. Keep, keep subbing to me. Give me your money. But I make a lot of money, okay? My full trip to Israel was pretty expensive. Um... Fuck, what was it by the end of everything? Th maybe 30 ish thousand dollars? I'll have to go back and check. I think it was around thirty thirty thousand dollars I think. Which is like, which is decently expensive. Um, <clears throat> but I make over a million dollars a year now, okay? Like, I, I don't need a, why the f would I want a country to give me thirty thousand dollars? It's such a retarded investment. Like, why would I change any part of my content, change anything I do? Open myself up to that liability. Give somebody that power over me, by the way. What, if I start shitting around Israel? Am I going to have, like, Shlomo Finkel, you know, like, Rothenstein, you know, sending me emails saying, oh, we see what you're saying? No, why would I do that for thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, right? You're going to you're gonna have to pay me off with way more money than that to make it even remotely worth compromising. And again, this isn't even, like, an integrity thing for me. It's just, it would just be bad business. Why the f*** would I have Israel paying me off? Now, for some of these other, like, content creators that make way, way, way less... I could see it for maybe potentially, but um, yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense. If you understand like the scale of money involved, uh, there, nobody's, nobody's buying me out for a $30,000 trip. Like this is just retarded. Um, you're you're going to have to be offering me way, 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 way more than that. If you see me with like a gambling sponsorship, okay, those workers are paying me at least, okay, at least $3 million a year, okay? Stake, $3 million where we'll start the negotiations okay <laughs> yeah it's just dumb yeah just the idea that i would be getting paid also that's also that's that's like the quick logical common sense shoot down but that like the actual shoot down to that is like i bro i um you can watch me do all of my research and reading on stream you can see me do everything the idea that i'm like faking it somehow while also doing hundreds of hours of like streaming and reading and interviews and debate like bro come on it just does it it's so the the it's so much work this i would be like the most invested in and like conspiracy theoried person ever to like get me to work it at that level like it's just so dumb do you think the percentage of current political streamers and commentators who are being paid by foreign governments is pretty high right now i do i do think that there are um large content creators that are getting um I'll say that have official, um, like, I want to say backdoor or back channel connections. When I say back channel, I don't mean that like some shady dude is showing up, like, uh, to talk to somebody. But I mean that there are like um, foreign state departments or foreign ministries in certain countries that will reach out and like collaborate with people and like do events with people and offer to bring them out and and you know like show them around as long as they you know just like they they won't give them scripts, but they'll say like, just like. Avoid these talking points or like just kind of like make sure you incorporate these talking points. That stuff absolutely happens 1 million percent. I know that for a fact. Um, maybe someday somebody will come out and expose them, <laughs> expose them all. But if content creators were backed by foreign governments, uh, wouldn't there be at least one leaked example? So when I say that they're backed, I don't mean that there's like a guy who's getting paid every like every single day by like a crazy one. What I mean is there's just like there's a little bit of collaboration in terms of um, maybe talking points and some sort of financial compensation. Uh, when you say wouldn't there be at least one leaked example? Uh, there have been like examples of this happening like really blatantly. Uh, Jackson Hinkle is literally working with Russia at um, like he went to that UN thing and he gave a speech. He was rolling around in tanks in Russia with the military. That type of event only happens with official State Department connections. You can't do that as a normal civilian. I can't call Putin and be like, can I like go roll around with your military and like take footage of it? That's, an, that's a State Department connection. One, one trillion, quadrillion percent. It's like beyond obvious. Um, there have also been people that, um, other content creators that, that make regular appearances like very, very, very often or have programs that are sponsored by uh, like RT, like Russia affiliated media and stuff. Um, that's all kind of the same. That's also why I kind of started to distance myself from like doing RT appearances and stuff because I'm like, ah. Uh. Do you think if you reached out to Russia, you're popular enough to do propaganda for their military? If I if I reached out and wanted to, yeah, probably. 
RT wanted me on quite a bit, but like I said, I got I started to get uncomfortable because I felt like I was like legitimizing the um the platform. I was like, fuck, I don't know if I should be doing this. Oh yeah, Syria, I think. Didn't Syria um there were a few there were several journalists that got awarded for prizes that were funded by the Syrian government. What I don't wanna I don't wanna misstate this. I think Hinkle was one. Haas might have been one. Was Greenwald one? Or am I making this up? What RT appearances have you done? Um, I think I did two or three of them uh, over the last election. Was it four years ago? Would you go into Al Jazeera? Um, I would have to, I'm not sure. I'd have to think like really carefully about all of these things. I'd have to evaluate them all a lot. I'm not sure. Jimmy Dore was one. He might have been. You did an election, I think, with RT. Yeah, we might have been, yeah. The thing is, is that like, and I can't speak for every wealthy person, but like once you've made a certain amount of money, to, it seems like really hard to sell out like what you believe in or what your principles are. And I don't even I don't even mean to say principles insofar as like some like noble virtuous principle. Like even a principle like I just want to like make myself more famous and popular or something, right? Like if that's all you care about, then yeah. But if it's not something you care about, the, either the money would have to be huge such that nobody would off nobody would accept or, or no it wouldn't be worth it right like i could never be bought off by a foreign country because the amount of money they'd have to pay wouldn't be worth it it'd be way more worthwhile for them to like just invest in other schemes it just wouldn't be worth it to pay me that much um i don't have the influence and it would be stupid to put all your uh, eggs in one basket um and that's going to be true for any sufficiently wealthy person what about elon um i think that at least half of elon's delusions uh come from the fact that he's just like a very bullied person like, I think a lot of Elon's mindset can legitimately be explained by the fact that woke people made fun of him. And now this is a way of like getting back kind of, I legitimately think it, I, I think a lot of it is that un unironically. Um, I don't think, I don't think Elon is like totally bought and paid for by any foreign actor. Um, I think he's just like very anti-woke. Could you give us pointers on how we could tell if you were ever bought? I should put a canary at the bottom of my website. Are those still legal? Do you think Hassan has ever taken any? Uh, no. And I would say no for the same reason. If Hassan has ever taken money from a foreign like entity like that, it's only going to be for stuff that he already believes in anyway. He would never, I don't think Hassan would ever change his belief for money because Hassan makes enough money that, that it's, he's going to make way too much and the money's not going to matter as much. And two, Hassan's main obsession is clout. That would be, so if some, you know, so somebody could, if Russia were to say, hey, we've got 10,000 Americans that promise they're going to be concurrent viewers to your stream, if as long as you, like, shit on Ukraine some more, then maybe he would do it. If Israel came to me and it's like, we've got 10 of the craziest BPD girls who are all trying to get impregnated. <laughs> maybe then. No, I'm just kidding. Why would a foreign country pay someone to change their opinion on a topic when they can just fund someone who already believes the propaganda line? I believe that would be how most of the funding, like, even right now, currently works. I don't think anybody changes their opinion um, because of like funding or whatever, they just find people that they already, um, believe in, like that they think they already believe the narrative and then the country believes in them and then they just kind of push them like that. Yeah. The, um, that's why the APAC stuff is so stupid. I don't, I could like research it. Um, what, what is the claim that like 95% of their, um, candidates win elections? Because I did a lot of, this is like, this is part of my general lobbying research a long time ago. But in looking up stuff, um, like uh, there's a lot of like lobbyists and people that will support people that they think are going to win. And that's just what they do. So it, it's not so much like when you see like 95, now I can't speak to APAC in particular because I've read, maybe they really do flip elections, okay? Um, but like we, we can imagine this if you, if you want. We can imagine this in real life where let's say that I have a company and let's say that I'm selling a, um, let's say that I sell a new air filtration system that removes 99% of carcinogenic gases from kitchens, okay? And I sell that, okay? It's my company and I sell it, okay? And I think, obviously because I sell it, and also because I believe, I think in the health benefits, I think every kitchen should have to have this stuff. I truly do believe that, okay? I think that every single kitchen should have my filtration system in it because it's healthier for workers and I make money selling it and it'd just be better for everybody, okay? So if that's the case, and let's say that I'm based in like four or five states in the Midwest. Well, when I look at the elections that are going on and I'm thinking of like, well, who do I want to, you know, what am I going to spend money lobbying on? Like whose campaign can I, what can contribute up to $5,000? And then like people that I want to go and talk to, uh, I'm going to see who's winning in all five states. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to arrange meetings with these guys. I'm like, hey, listen, there's a bill, uh, you know, 
NB, you know, 147 says that they, you know, companies have to have a minimum threshold for HEPA filtration or some bullshit in kitchens. I think you should support this. These are the reasons why uh, I have this company. This is the benefits and blah, blah, blah. And like, yeah, like I'm going to throw $2,000 at your campaign or whatever the fuck because I support you and I think you're cool. If I were to go around in five states and do that, well, first of all, I'm only supporting people that are going to win anyway because why the fuck would I throw money as a company, especially to a candidate I know is going to lose, right? Well, now I've got like 100% success rate on my lobbying, right? Um, and then if these people do end up supporting things, people are going to look at it and they're going to be like connecting the dots. I'm like, wait a second. This guy, every candidate he supported has won every election or have won all their elections and they're also supporting his shit. What's going on here? And it seems like some crazy, nefarious, horrible thing. And it's like, well, is it? This is not really, right? People are putting the, um, there's, uh, there's a, Fuck, there's a crafty, clever saying for this, for switching the causality around. Um, it's not putting the cart before the horse. There's a clever way of saying this, or there's a shorter way of saying this. But, like, people are flipping the causality here, and they're um, assuming that something super malicious is happening when probably not. But 